red plastic handles that we were sure would cut your chains, and we even practiced. So you, you, know, know, that, you know the charge against the people at the White House that day? Because I was the bail person. I had everybody funny for, for bail. The charge? Incommoding. 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 That was not their bail. What does that mean? No. Um, it's a, it's a used in D.C. and and they were incommoding the the concept as I understood it was incommoding the sidewalk. Yeah. Yes. But, but we were charged with trespass. You were charged with trespass. Yeah. And yes. so there was this one grumpy guy, and we said, "Are you okay? What's the matter?" And he said, "I'm here as a federal officer. They're booking you on a federal offense." I have to be here. My wife is about to leave for work. My son is about to come home from school. He's going to be all alone because I have to be here with you ladies. And I know they're going to drop the federal charges and charge you under DC law anyway. Mm -hmm. And so we apologized. Mm -hmm. And uh, we told him that we were sorry. Uh, and then he, he, he was very pleasant. When we finally got, it was nighttime those of us that had gone over the fence uh, and went away, they took us away in a paddy wagon, or no, patrol wagon, sorry, paddy wagon is a slur against the Irish, patrol wagon. We got to the place where we were gonna be um, fingerprinted and this Puerto Rican Brazilian officer who had driven us came around back, took the handles on the doors, he flung it open and he said, First of all, ladies, you must talk to your lawyers about inexpeditious justice. There's no reason for it to have taken this long for you to get here. <laughs> and second of all, what the hell were you thinking? We shoot people for that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And we said, but, but we were very careful. We didn't run. You know, we practiced it. We were very nice. And so we were talking to the guy. And we had a juvenile with us, um, and she said to uh, she said to the officer, "Well, um, officer, um, hypothetically, uh, if there was someone here that was under age, uh, what do you think the best course would should be for them?" He sort of looked at her. He said, "Well." Um, that person would not want to let it be known that they were a minor because then they would be separated from the others and put into juvenile detention, mm -hmm. which is actually not as nice a place it's as the DC jail where you'd be going. Oh, hmm. that hypothetically, um, what should that person do the next day? Well, that person is going to have to produce proof that they're under age, like a driver's license or a relative. And Jennifer says, what did mother do? He says, mother. And then surely her mother pops up from the back of the van and says, yes, her mother. And he says, that's your mother? <laughs> <laughs> and Shirley and Jennifer were a Mormon family. And this was Monday, you know, and, she, and Shirley says, oh, yes, of course, this is Mormon family home day. Right. The family right. that strays together stays together. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I started having trouble with my hypoglycemia. Uh, and he went off to find some food for me. And he couldn't find any. And he went to the vending machine and he put his own quarters in the machine to bring me peanut butter crackers. Oh. The police were, by and large, really, really good with us. And they were the ones who warned us the day of the arrests mm -hmm. on the vigil and so on. And that, what, that was part of what was so amazing to me was the amount of sympathy and kindness that over time we saw from the officers. Oh, uh, oh the funniest part, uh, Lenny Leanne, who's not here, usually took care of the permits. So. Uh, it, this was uh, President's birthday weekend, which just happened to fall on Susan B. Anthony's birthday, February 15th, on a Monday. And I, I, a couple days before, she, she gets a call from the police department, 
and it says, all right, lady, we know you're planning something. Um, how many people are going to be arrested? <laughs> she said, what, us? Oh, come on, lady, how many people are going to be arrested? What, I, us? Look, lady, it's a holiday. We have to pay people overtime. How many <laughs> wagons do you need? <laughs>